Today we're going to do the work with the Pilates ring. Really good piece of equipment to have. Pretty reasonable as well, usually under about ten pounds. But we're going to be doing five exercises twice round, thirty-five seconds of work and ten seconds of rest in between each exercise. So let's get going with the workout. Right. So I want you sat on the ground in Pilates ring. Um, knees tucked up. So your feet are on the floor and we're leaning back a little bit. So I'll just get the time again, leaning back a little bit, and what I want to do is squeeze this Pilates ring above your head. So obviously the further you lean back, the harder it is. But the more you lean forward, the easier it is. So go where it feels right for you. And we're squeezing the Pilates ring above our head. Try and make sure you've got a nice straight back. If your back isn't straight and it feels uncomfortable, then Bring yourself forward a little bit. But if you can lean back comfortably, that's fine. You'll probably get a little bit of a shake, but that's fine as long as your body's working hard. So squeeze the ring above your head. You should feel your core muscles contracting as you squeeze. Three, two, one. Right. Next one is just a, again, lean the same position. This time we'll be squeezing the Pilates ring in front of us. So let's get going. Squeeze, squeeze. Same position and again you should feel the stomach muscles really contracting every time you squeeze. So obviously this is great for your core, for your back strength, for your arms. Pilates is a great Exercise your whole body really. You should feel this in your hip flexors as well as I try to stabilize you. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, this time, same again. I'm going to come to the front a little bit. But this time, we're pushing the Pilates ring down with our right side. So it's to the right of you, and we're just we'll come around, pushing it down. And if you hold, the stomach, you should feel the muscles on the right side of your abdominals crunching, contracting, doing most of the work. This is a really good exercise and you'll feel it tomorrow. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, same again. We're going to be doing it on the left hand side. So, your breathe first in your hip flexors as well. Let's go, left side. So, pushing up and down. You don't have to push all the way so it connects, just pushing it up and down. And you should really feel those abdominal muscles, particularly on the left side, tensing up. a great little workout. 10 seconds. You don't have to move much, you don't have to do crunches, but this is really, really firing up that core and the stop. Right, the next exercise we're going to do is scissors. So scissors is like this. So we do one and then we bring our knees in and squeeze. So let's get going. Scissor one, bring your knees in, squeeze. Bring your knees in, squeeze. Up, down, bring your knees in, squeeze. Up, down, bring your knees in, squeeze. Up, or down, what should I say? Bring your knees in, squeeze. Down, up, knees in, squeeze. 10 seconds. You can put your head down if you want for this one. You don't have to bring your shoulders up, that's optional. Two, one, right. So we're going to go from the top again. <laughs> so up to you if you want to do this a second time round. You might just be happy doing it this once round and then progress to do it twice round. But if you're happy to do it again, then let's go. We're squeezing it above our heads for 35 seconds. You can imagine you're feeling this in your hip flexors as well. If your lower back is uncomfortable, in pain, Either sit forward and do this, you'll still feel the benefit just sitting forward and doing it. You'll still be using your abdominal muscles 
to squeeze that ring. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Now we're going to bring it in front of us. Again, if you need to sit forward, sit forward. Entirely up to you. Ready? Let's go. Squeeze that ring. It's amazing just by doing this, not really any of the movement in your body and your core is on fire. 10 seconds. Stop if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, now we're going to come to centre so you can see me. Same position as we're pushing it down with our right side. So three, two, one, let's go. You should really feel this in your hip flexors as well. If you need to, straighten out your legs if it's hurting your hip flexors, okay? If your hip flexors feel fine, you can bring your knees up. Lean back. Either way, it's still working the core, so it makes no difference as long as you feel comfortable. Ten seconds, and then we move on to the left side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right. Switch sides. If you need to shake out your hip flexors, shake them out. If you need to stretch out, stretch out. Left side now, so push that ring up and down. This is the penultimate exercise. We've got one more after this, and then we can lie back and stretch, and it's over. So put your hand on your stomach so you can feel it contracting. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Lie back. It's time to do that scissor crunch. So again, you can lie back and put your shoulders off the ground. It's up to you. So we're lifting our leg up and then crunching. So leg up, down, crunch and squeeze. Oof. Down, up, crunch and squeeze. Down, up, crunch and squeeze. Down, up. Crunch and squeeze. This is again a big burner. We've got 10 seconds left. Crunch, squeeze, down, up, crunch and squeeze. Three, two, one. And lie back. Stretch out your leg, stretch out your stomach. You might want to go into a glute bridge just to stretch out those hip flexors, stretch out those quads, stretch out that stomach, squeeze your glutes. That's quite a nice position to get into. You've really, really pushed your hip flexors as well as your core muscles. Right, roll it over onto your belly. You can either put your elbows tucked in, or if you want, put your hands out and go into a full cobra. Squeeze those glute muscles, stretch out that stomach and your chest. Keep that tension in your glutes so you're not overarching your back. Look up and go into a child's pose to stretch out that lower back. Walk your hands to the right. And then walk your hands to the left and centre. And it's done. Exercise complete. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.